guys welcome back to my channel it's me monty so for today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my vanity here it is so for my actual desk this is um a dress table that's what it's called it's from ikea it's the mom um fun fact everything in my house is mom from ikea it has a drawer right here and this chair is not always going to be here but it's just a chair that we have for right now, along with this mirror from Impressions Vanity, uh, it has the light settings, like of course every mirror does. It's super, super good. And yeah, like I said, this is not always going to be here because I do want to change it out for a bigger one, but for the time being, it does serve the purpose. Right here, I have um, this little organizer that I found from TJ Maxx. It has all my nice brushes in it, my Jeffree Star, my Morphe, my Makeup Shack, and my Dew Color brushes. I wanted them in here just because they look so pretty. And right here is my empty James Charles brush set, which the brushes are right there. Where's the brushes? Oh, you right, said right, right there. <laughs> and then um, I have some setting sprays, which this setting spray is like so bomb. I saw another makeup youtuber or whatever using it so when i saw it i just thought i wanted to try it it's super hydrating so like if you have your makeup on like all day and you like don't want to take it off just yet and you want to just refresh it i'd say spray some of that on and then dab a little powder and you'll be good to go uh right here i have my loose highlighters from anastasia beverly hills they're so super super pretty right here are my uh, Jaclyn Hill <laughs> palettes from the vault set. I don't have the holder that it came in when I first bought it. Tell them why. I, I <laughs> threw it away <laughs> by accident because I kept having to pack up my makeup. If you guys know me, if you see me on Snapchat and stuff like that, you guys know like me and my husband, we move around like so, 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 so much. So my makeup was always in a makeup case, always packed down and stuff. So just to have like less space, I threw away like a bunch of like boxes and stuff that like I just didn't need and that happened to be one of them, but it's fine. Um, I did get the vault collection when it was still a vault collection, so don't blame me. <laughs> and right here is my Makeup Shack handheld mirror, just a regular mirror from the Makeup Shack, along with another loose pigment highlighter and my Anastasia. All right, sorry guys, my mom called and I'm not gonna bang my mom. What are you talking about? Anyways. <laughs> So this is also my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip kit. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. Super pretty. It has a bunch of lipsticks in it. Very, very nice. On the inside, it's just a bunch of different lipsticks, lip glosses. They're all glossy. These are all shades that I would most definitely wear. And I'm so glad that I bought it. Wait, wait. Open it? Can we get some Vigo? No. Order these ones. Which ones? Why are they silver? No, I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is also another um, Anastasia highlight. It's a bigger one. It's a little open because I'm actually wearing it right now. And it's in the shade Vegas. It's so pretty. But yeah. And then in these drawers are my palettes. I have the Amrezi palette. I have the Bretman Rock highlighter palette as well as this ColourPop palette that was given to me by my friend. I have an Urban Decay palette. Where'd you get that? It's from my mother. Oh. Thank you very much. This one is the palette that I've been using like most often for some reason recently. It's super good. And this is what the Brightman Rock palette looks like. It's none of your business why that's hit pan on that. Oh. <laughs> and also, I have the Let's Do Makeup palette. I keep it in the sleeve because I really do like it. Uh, I support her so much, especially because we're both from the same hometown. And this palette is not, I don't know where you could find it. It was limited edition. So you're probably not gonna be able to find it again, but it looks like that. It was a collaboration with Too Faced and Kat Von D. And it's a heart, obviously. It was their Valentine's Day collection. So this is what the Too Faced side looks like. And it has a little story about what they um, collabed and how they felt about it and this and this and that. And then this one is the Kat Von D side, super pigmented, super Kat Von D. And then she also has a little note for her fans. So 
that's that. Of course, the Amrezi palette, super pretty. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. I wanna get the mirror to go with it and then I'll have it on a better display. And this is another palette my mom gave me from OxyCharm, super pretty. And yes, like Brian said, these are some chunky glitters. See. From your nearest Michaels. No. <laughs> they're not from Michaels, Brian. From Hobby Lobby. These are some glitters from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, they're poster glitters, but you can use them on your skin. No, I'm just kidding. They are chunky glitters from Kiss Me Now Cosmetics. Super, super pretty. This is set nine. If you guys want to get it, you can get all four of these plus, plus glitter glue for $15 because they are on sale right now. So hop on that. So the second drawer has... Some more palettes, of course, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This was my very, very, very first ever palette. I was working two jobs as a junior in high school and this palette was like $50 or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's a little steep. So I saved up all my money and like took myself like on a shopping adventure. And yeah, this palette has been with me since I was a junior in high school. And it's the best palette ever. I love Urban Decay Cosmetics. And this palette was also gifted to me by my mother. Too Faced Chocolate Bar, smell it. it smells like chocolate. So, moving right along. I've recently found like a love for this brand, Stila Cosmetics. Their stuff is actually really good and I love their palettes. They're just so athletically pleasing. What? So, like athletically pleasing. Stop, what? Uh, for who? Athletically pleasing. Aesthetically? Oh. <laughs> oh. Athletically pleasing. Okay, there. There's some nice jump ropes. Say it. <laughs> aesthetically pleasing. As aesthetically pleasing. They are aesthetically pleasing to look at. This was my very first Stila palette. Um, it was gifted to me on my birthday and I loved it so much. Still do. So when I saw that they had like other palettes and stuff like that. It was because of that palette why I wanted to try their products some more. So I got this one, Super Pretty Nudes. It's brand new. Yeah. As well as this bronzer, which is super pretty. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit brand new. Yeah, it's brand new, but it's a little bit dark, but Sooner. it's totally fine. I was not going to just like not buy it. So how uh, are you going to use it? I mean, probably not. It's a little dark. And this also is a new palette that I got, the Rivetta palette by Anastasia. Super pretty, super brand new, none of your business. Not using yet. Hasn't been and also yet. some more glitters from Kiss Me Now Cosmetics. This is set number seven, if you guys want to check that out as well. Moving down to the third drawer are just my Morphe palettes that I have because they make such bomb palettes. And this drawer is like freaking jank. <laughs> Moving on to the catastrophe. That's not a catastrophe. And I don't appreciate you uh, putting me out uh, of the So, this is my makeup drawer. Oh my god. It doesn't have that much stuff in it right now. This is what? a little, it's a little, a little, or, it's an organized mess. That's what we're gonna call it. It's an organized mess. I have some baking powder, contour palette, contour palette, setting powder. If you don't have this in your makeup collection, I suggest you get it because it's super bomb. It is a color switch. So when you're, when you want to, if you don't want to use like a million brushes for a look or something, then you just and then grab a new color and apply. Wait, wait, wait. So you can use the same brush for two colors. Yes. Or more. or more. What happens when this thing gets all filthy? You just wash it off? Yeah, you just wash it with soap and water and then that's it. And it dries off and you put it back in the case. <laughs> you better get that. And this is my palette that I got from Sephora. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't get it from Sephora. Yeah. My mom gave it to me. It's from Sephora. Super pretty colors. Wanna see this? Like little half moons? Not that pigmented. Sephora could have came strong with that. And I have my Jeffree Star Alien palette down there. I have my two James Charles palettes right here as well. And these are all my lipsticks. I've been obsessed with Anastasia lipsticks lately. They're super pretty. And my Life Glam lipsticks as well. Shout out to Life Glam. Get their monthly lippy subscription like me. 
And these are some concealers from e.l.f. Cosmetics because I had to order a bunch of them. I ordered like 10. I wanna say I ordered like 10 of them online. And the reason why I ordered them is because they came out with these concealers. And I thought I was having an allergic reaction to these concealers, but it turns out I just had severe allergies. That's why my eyes kept watering when I was using it and I thought I was having a reaction. Oh, so it's not that? So it's not that. But it's still okay because like I said, I bought a bunch of those because they came out with the new Camo Hydrating and Mattifying Concealers. When they came out with these, the, the regular concealers that they had are gonna be discontinued and I love them. I've been using this concealer ever since I started my makeup. It's in the shade light. It's the HD Lifting Concealer by Elf Cosmetics. It's $3. And I've been using it ever since I started doing my makeup and it was so good. So when I found out that it was gonna be discontinued, I had to snag them. Along with some more lipsticks. I love Urban Decay lipsticks, as you can see. These are not lipsticks, but they are glitters. Anastasia really came through with these freaking glitters, huh? She just took all my money. So super pretty. This reminds me of like wedding or like prom or something, the rose gold. And these, I got these because of course Halloween is gonna come up. So I wanted to do some looks. So I felt like these were really pretty colors to do like Halloween vibes. So yeah. And a little product moment, some Roslyn Cosmetics. This is a concealer. Get you some Roslyn Cosmetics. Who's that? My mother. <laughs> and right here is just some concealers that I use every day. This is, this is such a bomb concealer. Your eyeshadows will show up so, so bright when you use it. I have some foundation. This is the only foundation that I use as of right now, the matte fit me. I'm in the shade 330, but once the winter starts kicking in, I'm gonna be a little lighter. This is my more like high-end makeup uh, foundation, the Makeup Forever. For this one, I'm in the shade Y422. And I'm telling you guys these shades just in case you see something in this video that you like or you wanna buy, you can kind of like match off of me like a little bit if you think that you're my color if you think you're a little lighter a little darker kind of give you guys a heads up this is a stila foundation that i wanted to try it's super pretty it's again aesthetic aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. to look at but it's super watery you guys like it's super watery i tried to shake it up as much as possible like it's super watery like it's it's pretty bad it's it's pretty bad they, they could really come stronger with this Squirt. look at that like it's so like what is that you know but it's okay, it works. You just have to work really fast. And this, this foundation primer that I wish I didn't buy, but I'm glad I found it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, wherever I found it, because I would not have paid full price for this. It freaking stinks. <laughs> stinks as it smells or stinks as it sucks? Both. I feel like my Wet n Wild matte face primer does the job for my primer. It stinks like as in product. It smells It smells like I'm putting like chemicals on my face. Some people might like it, I won't down it too much, but personally for me, I could live without it. I really could. And right here, this is what's really like aesthetically pleasing to me, my skincare. So I got some hyaluronic acid in there, some bio oil. If you move these out of the way, I got my Tatcha Deep Cleanse as long, along with my Luminous Dewy Skin Setting Spray. This is the best thing since sliced bread. If you guys don't know, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, super, super bomb. It's small because it came in a set with the other products that you guys see right there. What's it for? It's primer and it makes your skin like a silk canvas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Tatcha Water Cream. Super good, super bomb. I'm a little broke, so I don't got no money for the bigger products, but when I get them, did you know my makeup will be popping? And that this is, is the dewy wow. one. Oh, it's it's really fucking huge. gone. <laughs> and I got the Mario Bereski Skin Care Setting Sprays. I have both of them. So yeah, as far as my skincare stuff, I'm all stock. These are just some brushes that I kind of just grab on everyday use. Right here, I have my Morphe, um, Eyebrow pomade, my Morphe brow setting gel, Lancome mascara, super super bomb. I have 
some primers right there, along with some lip liners, eyebrow pencils, and things like that. Just kind of like, <laughs> just kind of some miscellaneous things in this little fish bowl I have. I accidentally cracked it. But they're just some tweezers. These are more primers. This primer, you guys, is really, really good. I suggest you get it. When you blend it though, you kind of have to blend it super, super fast. I learned that. And as far as more skincare, I have the e.l.f. skincare products. These are super good. I use this on the day-to-day -day basis just because I don't want to be like super oily. And where I live now is freaking, I don't, I don't know what the sweater is, but it's, it's upsetting. It's wet. It's oh, wet? It's wop. The wits. It's wop. It's wop out there. Shut up. Bomb, bomb, bomb if you have dark spots. My skin has came a long way. And more e.l.f. skincare. So basically, if you want to ask me any skincare products, like, it's cheap, it's not too difficult. E.l.f. And I have this, I think it's a microderma roller. I go ham. <laughs> I go ham with these. Oops. Oops, I'm coming around now. I go ham with this, you guys. Like, I go ham with this. What is it? Let me see. It's a microderma roller. Real close. It has little mini needles inside of it and you roll it across your face and it opens your pores. So what I do is I'll put my regular skincare on, I'll do my oils and everything like my whole skincare. And then I'll microdermal roll my face while all the products are in there. So it's kind of like opening my pores slightly so I, the, I feel like in my head that the products are like seeping into my skin a lot more. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, also, I have this little trash can right here. You know, you need trash can when you got your makeup. And I have this box that I got my makeup shad products in. I just think it's super nice and I wanted to keep it. It goes with the flow of things. So, if you want to back up, you can tell them, show them a wider version. But yeah. Also, fun fact, you guys. I went on the Makeup Shack website to look for this specific brush. Coming. This brush right here, because I bought glitters from Kiss Me Now. And this Wait, is put your hand up. silicone. This is silicone, so it grabs glitters like so super Do bomb, twist. right? Give me a good twist, oh yeah. So it grabs the glitters like super, super bomb. It is the Makeup Shack T69. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was only $3.99, so yeah, that's kind of how this all came about. All this. So this was not actually, so these were not brush. supposed to happen. These were not supposed to happen. What? I can tell you that right now, but I wanted this one and I was just like looking through their brushes and I'm just like, let's get them. Next thing you know, $100 later. $100 for those? I'm sorry, what? $100 for those? No one's going out. I already have one. Ridiculous. <laughs> Soaks. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. So, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, check me out on Facebook and my Instagram page. I've been doing a lot of makeup looks recently, so I've been looking real good. I'll post them right here. Boop, 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 boop whatever <laughs> so that way you guys can see them uh don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can never miss out when i post a new video bye guys